Good luck. I hope you enjoyed these messages from IND and Anse Hekkenberg. Now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for, the team parade.
that was a lovely team parade. We loved all your creative contributions. But what was happening all the time with these numbers flipping around? Tom Verhoef will explain it in the next video. Hello, my name is Tom Verhoef and I will tell you about the design of the ECMO 2020 team parade, now a virtual parade. To streamline the team parade, we wanted the teams to have something to do on stage. To collaborate on something mathematical and also something a bit puzzling. I had thought about this already in 2009 at the opening ceremony of the 50th IMO in Germany. What can a team do in the 10 seconds of stage time they have? Something with numbers or geometry? And then it occurred to me that team members usually line up. In doing so, they need to choose an order. The team could change their order repeatedly to show each possible permutation exactly once. For the audience to make sense of this, the transition from one permutation to the next should be simple. A neighbor swap is the simplest change to the linear arrangement. Two adjacent elements change place as shown on the left. The transitions on the right are forbidden. Can you present all permutations once doing only neighbor swaps? This is a famous and well-known problem in combinatorics. It was solved in the 17th century in the context of change ringing. Look that up on YouTube. At the IMO it would take a team of six members too long to show all 720 permutations even with lots of practice. So I investigated the possibility to reduce that number by making some team members indistinguishable. For example, three colored blue and three orange. This reduces the number of permutations to six over three or 20. At the time, I didn't know if this problem was solvable. To make the problem more accessible, draw a graph whose vertices are the permutations and where an edge connects two permutations that differ in a single neighbor swap. The question now is to find a path in this graph that visits each vertex exactly once, also known as a Hamiltonian path. For the color combination 3 plus 3 it turns out to be doable. It helps to draw the graph in a different way. But in general, when colors occur more than once, it is not doable. Consider, for example, the color combination 2 plus 2. Try it. In 1965, Derek H. Lemer conjectured that when it is not possible, you can omit some permutations and visit those as sidesteps, doubling some other permutations. He called these spurs. The spurs are clearly visible in the graph for 2 plus 2. I proved Lehmer's conjecture for two colors in 2015. At ECMO 2020 we decided to let the teams perform neighbor swaps on five objects placed next to each other on stage. The ECMO logo and the digits 2, 0, 2 and 0. There are 5 over 2, 2, 1, that is 120 divided by 4, which equals 30, permutations. At least two spurs are needed in this case. The ECMO 2020 team parade traverses this graph twice. Here is a still from the animation to accompany the team parade. The paper where I describe my IMO 2009 thoughts is referenced here, my proof of Lemur's conjecture for two colors, and finally my article about four mathematical designs for ECMO 2020. I wish you all good inspiration for solving the problems. 
Enjoy math. We hope that this explanation by Tom Verhoef has helped to clarify what was happening during the team parade. Now we are almost at the end of this opening ceremony. So here is Viviane Kiel from the ECMO Advisory Board to officially open this ECMO 2020. Dear all, to have some Dutch feeling at home, I made nine tulips. Nine tulips for the ninth ECMO. In this special virtual ECMO, no one of us is strolling through the vast Dutch tulip fields. Each and every one, contestants, leaders, deputies, coordinators, organizers, must do their best to ensure fair play. I believe all of you play fair. Thus, this ECMO is official. It is an official competition. The results are official and published on ECMO.org. The medals are shipped to you, more exactly to half of you. I declare open the 9th European Girls Mathematical Olympiad, ECMO 2020. I wish you good luck for the exams and, even more important, I wish you fun during the exams. Also, enjoy the virtual events the organizing committee set up. For example, enjoy the tulip fields in the virtual tour through Koikenhof. Thank you for watching this opening ceremony. I wish you good luck with the contest and hope to hear from you this week.